What's up? It's Steven, and welcome back to Ripping Packs with Red Riot Games. And today we're going to be opening our packs from the card game Universes and its set Seventh Cross. Let's check it out. All right, we're going to be opening up our next box here. So, just like with the other videos, I do like to give this a nice little cut there on the top one. This is just to kind of make sure that we don't uh, cut or hurt any of the boxes or tear or destroy the boxes. We don't some of this stuff becomes highly collectible at some point. We're going to put that over to the side. And uh, let's crack this open. We've got our box topper, which will be deciding if it's going to be a shitty box or not. And it is not a shitty box. This stuff does come with character cards, which will be available on the website. We either will have an all character pack wheel or one where you can buy each character individually. Some people are just looking to round out their stack of characters there. Alright, so we're going to be opening up our packs. Here we go. I think Eugenia, I've never even seen someone. I've only played a single Eugenia player, and uh, in all that time, uh, I've never really seen what Eugenia can do, but there's probably someone out there who could do it. Uh, we got uh, Invoyable Judgment. In Invoyable Judgment. Never. It's a hard one to pronounce, kids. Okay, <laughs> moving on to our next one here. Gonna separate uh, our rares and ultra rares there. We got initiate launch. So we are trying to keep our videos a little shorter than we have been in the past because we found out that they're just unnecessarily long when we're reading the complete effect of every card. Um, it's not really necessary if we're just like unpacking things. Okay, and we got our second uh, UR, which is the deck now again this is another card i haven't seen a whole lot of it's mostly a lot of the commons in this set that i found have been quite useful like uh hellward bound and etc so here we go uh we got a zolt character card Let's put zolt down there uh we got power cycle this is a card i've seen a lot of all decks actually pretty much every all deck that i make will usually have one of those these cards in it if I'm able to make it. Or air, fire, it's just, it's just a good card that's allowing you to add, add a card to your card pool, which is usually a Soul Calibur card or something that I'm able to get rid of. Uh, we got Clockwork Castle, and that's going to be our regular rare. Seen the second castle I've seen today. This castle, man. Gotta watch out. They're not the castles in this guy. Alright, and we're gonna have a nether storm. So I do see this card occasionally in uh, decks with this character in it. Um, Turn Laos. I usually call him the Undertaker and his doggles. Um, pretty strong card. I like it. Uh, we got Dejante, who is apparently just silly broken. Uh, and we have uh, Laylings. On to our next set, our next pack here. Uh, we have Joffrey, and we got Bastion Stance. Can we need this for that really awesome Tim Keith deck that uh, Shane Duckworth has made? I I super like it. I use it for a bit. I was like, hey, this, this is an amazing deck that is like just very strong at playing good UFS. Okay, there we go. Uh, Inquisition is going to be a Joffrey card. I've not seen anybody playing Joffrey. I feel like someone tests Joffrey and get just like, oh, three did it weekly. Uh, so I don't know what the upper limits of the character is. Rimless, always love seeing this character. Uh, Firefly Gunner, that is a dope card. Um, I bought against Ryan Fields and he was using that card, I believe in his uh, Jackie Briggs deck. So that is a really cool card and it's able to do a fair amount of things. I think it's adding cards to your momentum and taking cards out of your momentum. Wear a light, usually a really good staple in every single water or... I don't really see anybody using Chaos and Void since I lost its main, uh, main card. I haven't really seen 
Dragon Void decks popping up anymore. Uh, there we go, Moon Dance Ritual. A uh, Moon Ritual Dance, sorry. This is a Solanka card that is super good, and I actually didn't even have a playset of it. So who knows, maybe I'll make uh, my own purchase at Red Rye and uh, have to go, and go ahead and grab that card. And uh, we're gonna have Dust to Dust. This is a Taisei card. Uh, fairly decent. I'm not, I'm never actually, like some of these, some cards, like I don't, I may not even know what they do because I, it's not just that you, your interaction is so complicated, but be more like I never seen anyone use that card, so I don't actually know how good the card is. And we've got a fair bit of Ultra uh, stacking up here as I'm just looking. Uh, we got our Eugenia, and here we go with uh, Charm Blast. Uh, I believe that's a, what's her name? That's a DeJounte card. There you go. Um, and we're gonna go on to our next one. I wonder who's the best character in this set. Is it DeJounte? Is it DeJounte, sorry? Or is it a uh, Torn Lance? Selenka? Maybe Super Eugenia. Another Bastion stance. We'll move on to the next factor. Okay, sorry, just reading something. Uh, power, another power cycle. So uh, some good support for all in this uh, in this set. Uh, some pretty decent good uh, cards too. A lot of good support we're seeing here. I think this is kind of reminds me of a better version of uh, um, War of the Dines, where it's like you know the, the characters themselves weren't like super good, fatal uh, eye, but their support was pretty. There's some support in there. High season event. For that entire set. Okay, let's open up our next pack here. All right, we got ourselves a torn louse. There we go, We're talking about the top pet, man. And we got self paw. Here's our next one. This is uh, another UR, Sympathy of the Deep. Oh, Symphony of the Deep. Uh, all right. Uh, I've never even seen that. I just noticed now he has a guitar. I thought he was some dude underwater, but he's not, apparently. He's just like a band, a bard of some sort. Another Solenka, I think that's the second Solenka we've seen. There's some good support, like Evil Eyes, like another good support here. Uh, there we go, Tale of Nine Sorrows. Hmm, it's like she's Nine Tales, like, appearance there. But I think, like, this is... Like a weird fantasy world because like you got uh eugenia that's like some kind of elf person you got uh some you got, uh, this guy's a random bard dude you know it's kind of a pirate guy <laughs> i don't even know what to look at with this game honestly i'll go with the lines go on to our next one here Ooh, another wear light. So two wear lights in a box is pretty good, as wear lights is such a, I think it's such an important card in any deck that can run it, should be running it. It has the ability to end that step if it can. Uh, dust to dust. And that is gonna complete this box here today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You can check us out on redridegames.ca. I think tale the tale uh, the tale of the tale today is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six ultra rares. So fairly consistent numbers here as we're opening up packs. And uh, we hope to see you guys soon. So do check these games out on redridegames.ca. Alright, take care, have yourself and each other.